So I think what we're trying to do is create a whole uh, spectrum of alternatives to the traditional educational um, institutions in a way that allows for higher ROI, more flexibility for students of but all ages. But you came up with this idea because you thought your own business education was a time suck. Well, actually, a lot of uh, the concept comes from my 20s before I went to business school when um, in sort of that that sort of is now a very cliched story. I graduated from college, you know, with a degree, uh, you know, thinking that because it was in Latin, it was like a Harry Potter spell was going to open any door that, that I wanted to, um, and got out there and found that um, I didn't have a ton of skills. And I spent a lot of years being sort of lost and lonely in the world of work, looking for that sense of purpose and direction and on-ramp to an opportunity. Um, and so I eventually went back to business school in my really late 20s in order to sort of get back on that on-ramp. And when I was there, I said, you know, it's a shame that I spent all of my 20s um, looking for this on-ramp. And, and it'd, be, it'd be way better if there were all opportunities for people um, early in their career to get skills and be able to sort of get on that Okay, but that let, me ask fast you, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You teach, General Assembly teaches, teaches very, very specific skills. Mm -hmm. And my question is, when you went to business school, mm -hmm. and this is the question about whether they're an alternative to each other, uh -huh. do you believe that the, it was the skills at business school that actually created the on-ramp that created this company? Or do you think it was the environment, the education, the network, if you will, that inspired you to create this company? You know, I would say that um, the value proposition of college and then of graduate school is is a combination of things right now. We have, you know, you are going to learn these, like, you know, frameworks that have been built through history. You're going to make uh, connections and have a social experience. Right. Um, you're going to build a network of peers that's going to be valued to you for, uh, throughout your career. Um, and we want to we have that same value proposition just at a, um, a much more cost-effective and shorter time frame um, in a way that makes it a lot more flexible for today's sort of modern lives and, and when they want to go and get those skills. And so it's all digital for the most um, part? No, it's actually, um, we're old school that way. We have campuses all over the world, 13 campuses, um, everywhere from New York to San Francisco to L.A. To but, but you do do a lot of digital Sydney. stuff. We do do, um, we train on digital. We have right. online courses and programs as well. Um, especially we have um, an incredible online program for teaching digital marketing <laughs> inside corporations for executives and, and managers um, inside Fortune 500 companies. And so that's, that's almost all online. What's, what's the cost? Um, so um, our offline programs range anywhere from $3,000 for a part-time course to $11,000 for a full-time immersive program. That's 24-7, where you learn um, basically to be a junior web developer, junior UX designer, junior product manager. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.